this might sound very abstract, but I've always been interested in the concept of time. It's the one thing you're not making more of. And timekeeping and watches in general, right, you know, are like time capsules. Most people don't know this, but Omega did a lot of pioneering work in movements. If you look at some of the selected watches I brought here, they all represent a certain phase in history. Hi, my name is Jared. I'm in the tech industry. I've been collecting watches and Omegas in general since uh, the mid-90s, actually. So this is the uh, Speedmaster 321. This piece is fueled by the legendary Caliber 321, uh, which actually went to the moon. And in 2019, Omega finally reissued this piece. Omega spent a lot of time, first of all, looking at archives of Lumania, production designs, you know, blueprints, things like that. Spent about a million plus doing an X-ray tomography of this uh, movement on Gene Cernan's actual watch. And then they uh, started it, uh, building a few of these. This is only hand assembled by one watchmaker, right? Which is why you know Omega doesn't produce too many of this. Obviously, the one that I'm wearing right now is a Snoopy, and there have been three versions of this. This is Snoopy three, and in Apollo 13, to save battery and energy, right, for the astronauts for re-entry to Earth they couldn't power up their guidance computer. You know, they did some mental mathematics and calculations while being oxygen deprived, by the way. They had to do a time burst of 14 seconds. Uh, they used a Speedmaster for it. Not this particular watch, but a Speedmaster with this caliber. And uh, they managed to successfully land back, right, and do a splash down to Earth. So for recognition of that effort, NASA issued out the Snoopy Award to Omega. So this particular piece is, is unique compared to the other two Snoopy versions is in the sense that if you activate the chronograph, what you will see that in 14 seconds, Snoopy is straddling like the command module, right? And it's moving across the moon. They really take care of their collectors. If you just take a picture of the, the movement and you know give them the serial number, they'll go back to their archives and the history and they'll come up with an extract. And here's the really great part, the CEO of the company signs that paper, every single one. The other thing is, I would say that uh, you can see they're experimenting with the blend of technology with tradition. And they're kind of pushing the envelope in terms of either materials being used, they're also moving the needle in terms of accuracy of their, their movements as well. That and they are good in a sense that they try to bring other collectors together. So from time to time there are like community events and like gatherings, particularly around new launches and things like that, yeah.